Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Cabot House Theater, and thank you for coming. Before we begin, I'd like to ask you all to please take your cell phones out and shut them off or put them on silent. We would very much appreciate it. In the event of an emergency, there are exits where you came in and also behind the stage on that side. There will be a 10-minute intermission during which concessions will be sold in the back, and should you need them, restrooms are located in the basement over there. This is the 20th production of the Cabot House musical, and because it was such a big anniversary, we decided to take on a big show. We hope you enjoy it, and with that, The Wizard of Oz. members and one to a staff member um, and they're people they go to people who have gone above and beyond when it comes to putting this show together and and all of the people that will be getting these awards tonight um, have certainly done that um, so our first um, I could sort of try to be all cryptic and <laughs> not tell you who it is yet but I might as well just just call him out so uh, Seth could you come out please <laughs> to throw his body around on stage as much as Seth did. Um, few of you may have realized that Seth has been going through some very serious back pain um, these past couple weeks. Uh, he's been wearing a back brace in every show. Um, and we had a couple of rehearsals as we got close to opening night where we had all of our actors on stage except Seth who was lying on the ground here because he couldn't move his back. Um, and he was here nonetheless um, working his butt off the whole time and did a just phenomenal performance, so thank you. Right. Um, and our second actor award um, is gonna go to Brett. Where's Brett? <laughs> so, Brett, as I'm sure none of you would have realized, um, this is her first production, first play she's ever been in, um, and she really went um, above and beyond when it came to working on her own character. Um, Brett came after rehearsals a number of times to come and talk to me and, and say, so, you know, I really want to work on my wizard voice, and so she'd like run her lines with me and all that, and um, no one else did that. I mean, she really sort of... <laughs> 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 Sorry, I should have said that. No, but, but seriously, no, 
know she really is. She, I'm sorry. Everybody worked on their I don't mean to imply that nobody else worked on their character. Clearly, as you saw, they all did. Um, but Brett really sort of came in, in um, when she wasn't asked to to really work extra hard on it and clearly got a lot of joy out of it. So um, this goes to you. I know this is the first time at Golden Guppy has gone to a non-cast member, so I guess it's our own irregular procedure. But Connor, please come forward. Yeah. This obviously came as no surprise to the cast. After housing day, Connor emailed, he's a freshman, he got placed in the cabin. And he had no performing arts experience whatsoever. But he wanted to get involved. And he was very proactive. He nagged me until I found stuff for him to do. And eventually, <laughs> we got to Tech Week. And Connor showed up and basically built the set. So we could not have done it without him. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, the room, uh, the entire mechanism for getting it up, several reinforced boxes. There were two <laughs> new triangles we built this year. Uh, I don't even. Hey, basically, everything was him. So we could not have done it without him. Now, this gets even better. <laughs> uh, on our dress rehearsal night, Thursday last week, it took forever to get through the set changes. And he was, at the time, he was learning to run the light board for the first time. But then he stayed after about till, what, 2.15 or so in the morning, so several hours. And he basically mapped out every set change. We rotated him backstage. And as you could see, it didn't take four and a half hours to get through the show. <laughs> <laughs> so <Just> for, <laughs> for all of that. Um, our choreographer, Diana, I don't know if she's here tonight, but she basically choreographed everything. And it was really um, awesome. <laughs> Susan Livingston had founded the Cabot House Musical and produced and directed for 18 years, and then she suddenly passed away in January of 2011. We got back, some of us were trying to figure out how to save the musical that year, and eventually I sent Ian an email saying, hey, do you want to direct? And eventually we meet, he says he'll sleep on it, eventually I get an email, I'll never forget this, I'm Ian, is all it said. He had never directed before, and we put on an amazing show, and this year we topped that, so I just have to say thank you for everything last few years.
relationship. Um, I am. I would characterize myself as the big idea person, and I would characterize Andrew as the detail-oriented person, which is wonderful because I can't tell you how many times I would say, "Oh my gosh, Andrew, we forgot to do X." I'd be like, "Ian, I did that a week ago." <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so Andrew is just phenomenal. So really deserves another round of applause. Yeah.